Hey, what's up, little homies? It's your boy E Double AKA Request here from Homeboy. And uh, for today's video, we're gonna watch a movie. <laughs> Turn your pants to a disappearance. I fuck with nothing but gangsters, nothing but hustling niggas. Sound off, sound off. All right, so to give you guys context for today's uh, shenanigans, I'm in this art class which is called Ars Erotica, and today we're supposed to be scheduled to watch a movie um, that's titled Deep Throat, and she said, yeah. There's gonna be some scenes of, of a BJ. And obviously, this is YouTube, so I'm gonna have to blur those out. There might be an age restriction placed on the video, um, so that no little kids come and watching it and shit. But it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> and uh, I even thought it'd be a cool idea if I went ahead and reacted to this shit. So that's what we're gonna do. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch a girl give head in a class, in a lecture hall full of women, and I'm just going to react to this shit. <laughs> I don't know how, it's going to be weird. I don't think this is, yeah, this isn't something you'll find on YouTube every day, a dude reacting to porn, but see how this goes. We made it, bro. We're in the media theater. Time to start setting up the laptop. I thought fantastic was going to change the climate of talking about issues of sexuality in these United States. Clitoris really was. Oh, I think the idea was <laughs> misplaced on the human body was lost on me. I, I was looking for the original thing. And the worst thing could be said about us as Americans is we sell our souls for it. We have a problem solved. All we have to do now is find a solution. Like what? Like deep throat. Deep what? Throat. Have you ever taken a penis all the way down to the bottom of your throat? Have you been to the experience of paying to go in a porno theater and see a woman give a blow job in a movie theater in your community? We have mud all over the face of this country now because we're ready Somebody telling me that I can't see a dirty picture. Every time someone watches that, they're watching me in ways. Do I don't want to get out for five years for acting in these roles? We knew the American public so tired of words like coit and wanted words uh, like fuck and suck and eat my cunt. It's taking sex in a very filthy way. You know, absurd. <laughs> I did. If it wasn't for us, this guy would look like a piece of shit, which he really is. It's a home in Coconut Grove that was owned by a guy who called himself a count. He is a count. He's a horseshit count. He is no count. He's fucking Stephanie DeBroni. God knows if that's his real name. And then the subliminal cutting with the rocket and, and wind them back and forth. This is a male fantasy, it says. I like to have my construct. I really get off on it. Therefore, she must too. Cool. So we just watched the, um, what would you call it? A documentary that is about the film. And, uh,
pretty pretty interesting stuff. And so right now we're um, getting into the screening. Most of the class is gone. So here we are. It's time to grab the snacks. Arizona sponsor me. All right. Very very cinematic. Lindor Truffle sponsor me. Bro, this is the longest intro scene I've ever seen for a movie. It's kind of boring so far. Let's see if things make up. All right, so I'm um, coming back from the media theater, and uh, it was all right. Um, I only stuck around for like the beginning couple of scenes, and uh, I left. For those of you who watch it or are going to watch it, I left right around, like right before they visit the doctor. And uh, I don't know. I mean, like, it was cool, but like, I was kind of personally, I was a little bored with it. Mm. I mean, I tend to be that way with just old films in general. That's probably just like the amount of stimulus that we have in our culture and our society. Um, for those of you who don't give a shit, I'm sorry, I gotta, I gotta kind of talk this way so that this video isn't just me being a pervert, you know? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, and, like, part of me wasn't, like, totally down with it because, so before we watched the movie, we watched, like, I guess you can call it a documentary, a behind-the-scenes type of thing, and all, that also talked about all the stigma around the movie, um, the reaction both by society and by the government, and it was um, deep inside Deep Throat, and it was like really crazy, and I started to see some of the things that they talked about. Like I know the professor sent out an email saying, hey, there's a little bit of a rape issue with the movie, and I saw that, like I saw, I don't think so, the main actress or whatever um, had ever done anything like that before, because like, in the middle of the movie, um, like, uh, I can't, I can't really show any of it, and so I didn't record any of it, because almost, like, 90% of what I saw was just straight-up porn, and so I kind of can't put that on YouTube for you guys, but, um, yeah, I mean, like, I, it was, it was looking like she was a virgin, dude. like, they, they did this one close-up shot where there's some blood, and it's just like, and going back to uh, the documentary, they did talk about how when she was older, she was like joining with the feminists against porn and whatnot. And she was talking about how, oh, if people go to watch that movie, they're watching me be raped and everything. Um, I'm not sure how much validity there is behind that because the story goes that she was only against the movie because people wanted her to be against the movie or because the movie was being shown in a bad light and whatnot. I, I'm not going to give any opinions there, but if, I don't know, I mean, if any of you guys, um, I would hope, <laughs> like, not in front of kids or anything like that, but um, if any of you guys are interested, I mean, it seems like a fairly alright movie. Uh, I just... I was just kind of hoping there was narrative to it, so I was disappointed by that, but all in all, it didn't seem too terrible. It was, it was actually pretty funny. Um, the lady who was in the lecture hall, her brother did the music selection for it, and I just thought the music selection was hilarious. 
Like, so you got, oh my god, what's up with this lighting? Yo, there we go! <laughs> so, the music was really fucking hilarious. It really added uh, a comical feel to the entire movie, even though it was porno. Because it's just like, these straight up sex scenes, and <laughs> you have this, this funky ass music playing. So, and like some weird thing with like bubble sound effects. <laughs> I don't know. It was really out there. But uh, thank y'all for watching whatever kind of video this turned out to be. I uh, appreciate the support. Be sure to check out the rest of the content on the Homeboys channel as well as the individual channels. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.